You're right. It's short time. Let's get to it. How do you find the 50 ohm point? Is it something you calculate or just trial and error with an antenna analyzer? Well, you always start out by calculating, but you leave a little extra wire on the antenna because if you don't, you'd rather have an antenna that's too long and fold it back than an antenna that's too short because you've got to take it down, solder an extension on it, and so on. So you look at your antenna analyzer and you go back and forth. Look for the point of lowest SWR, which may or may not be at the 50 ohm point. See, the problem is 50 ohms resistive could also be at the same time 10 ohms reactive. And so you're not dealing with the purely resistive antenna. In fact, some antennas are so persnickety that they never actually give you a 50 ohm point. But the resonant point, remember, is when the reactants of the inductance and the reactance of the capacitance are equal to each other. And then you get a match, but it may not be at 50 ohms. In fact, for a standard dipole, the standard height of half a wavelength, it's going to be closer to 70 ohms. So, what do you do in that case? Well, you get it, just tune it for the lowest SWR. And if that SWR is under 1.6 to 1 or so, you don't even need to bother with the tuner. If it's above that, you can use the tuner in your radio to bring it right down if it's less than 3 to 1. If it's more than 3 to 1, I'd readjust the antenna rather than use a wide-range antenna tuner. There you have it, 73.